the worst shot. Look at the shot. One of them was hollow. Really? Yeah. Winchester? This right here is the Federal Black Cloud cut open. And you can see misshapen the flight control wad. That's a great wad right there. Yeah, that one's just crap. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Well, we gotta leave that in there. <laughs> that's that's the hole in the powder. A little fine powder. That fine powder gives you good performance. That flight control wad makes it really good. The Remington's impressive too. Number five shot here. Got a good payload with a good wad. It was a nice large flake powder. This is some estate. Totally crappy wadding. Cardboard in the bottom of the hull, not so ideal. But that wad is just sorry, you're not going to get good consistency with that. What was this stuff right here? Kent. Kent fast <clears throat> Good payload, good, good wad. Good uniform powder, that's not bad. Check it. This is the Winchester. Okay, this is the that had the cardboard in it too, didn't it? Yep. <clears throat> cardboard in the base of the hull. A good wad. And this is supposed to be a waterfowl load, but with the cardboard makes it a little less than ideal. The powder, you can see that you've got two or, two or three different kinds of powder blended in together on that stuff. What else stands out over here? The Remington Wads. The Remington Wads, yeah, that's their power piston. The Marco and this is their gun club. They power it. Yeah, the Remington the Gun Club, which is a low cost load, isn't it? That gun club's pretty cheap. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? You've got a good power piston. You've got a good, a good payload of shot in there. Well, I get the statement for the Number eight. Yeah. Number eight shot. That's tiny, lots of pellets, but that's a good load right there. That's impressive. There's the. Game load. Eight shots. Appreciate it, Baxter. Yeah, good Christmas. Where's your game load? Down in Salt Lake. Good payload. <laughs> that power piston. That that is a good wad. It's, it works really well. It's not as good as the, the Black Hawk flight control. I keep telling a lot. I got you and the kids. That's all. That flight control stuff is just. That's just the ticket right there. I'm not a Christmas fan anyway, so... What else we got? Yeah, yeah. Federal Top Gun with that yeah. cheap yeah. wad, too. Have a good day, um, more uniform powder. Yeah. Can't really get a good video. Yeah. A smaller flake, but... A tiny wad. Yep, Marcus has yet to order them. As I told him like last week, I told him a week ago we get some. I had to tape one together last week. Winchester expert. That's kind of a sad wad right there. If you look at the pellets, you can see they're deformed. Those are some seriously deformed pellets in that Winchester expert. There's no consistency in there. Let's see, that's Winchester Expert BB shot. This is Winchester Expert number two shot. And it doesn't work. Look at that. Some of those pellets are hollow. Some of them have stems. Look at this. One of these pellets is hollow in there. And some of them look like they've got nipples. Which is not bad. Well, it tells you the temperature. <laughs> it means it's too cold to hunt. Ryan's buying a box of heavy shots. 
heavy metal triple BB. We're gonna cut that open too and see what's in it. You got that show? It's all right. That's heavy metal, three and a half inch, one and a half ounce. Yeah, I've heard some good things about that. Triple BB is supposed to be really impressive. That's exactly. That's a heck of a cartridge, man. You hold this in your in your hand, you know you, to see what you got something like dangerous right here. density stuff right there too kind of like black clouds got in it so it's got you two different uh, yeah two different types of pellets you got some filling material huge wad real good looking wad it's a heavier duty heavier plastic and a fine powder nice fine consistent powder now if it has a cardboard insert I'm going to be ticked nope plastic plastic well that's why you're paying the premium bucks for that stuff that's a good, a good looking stuff right there. It's inconsistent shot size though. Oh well, yeah, you got a couple different sizes. Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, oh, right there's got a totally deformed little sucker well, like that one. Well, those, those are actually acting as a cushion for the steel. No, no, look at that. That one's got three little extras. Oh yeah, what? what? Let's pull that out. Okay, right there. And then look, there's one that's smaller than eight shot. And then they're using that flax seed. Okay, I'm going to go into macro mode here. Biodegradable, okay. all natural. You can see this pellet's got a bunch of little but that heavy shock, though, nipple like, like protrusions coming off of that pellet. Just real inconsistent. And that's not the only one. I like that. You got this. The steel, the steel itself looks really good, but those. Those lead. It's all steel. Is that that's all metal. steel? The heavy metal stuff is just not consistent at all, is it? Uh, I think that's a what kind of manufacturing process is making these flat. then? That's flaxseed. Is that what those things are? Flaxseed. Looks like flaxseed. Flaxseed. That's what flackers do. Is flax. You're a slacker. And you get them from the mother flackers. Dude. This Yeah, that heavy shot stuff is just weird, and then you get the steel. Right on. 